What's up YouTube? This is the man 743 one coming back with another video. And today I'm gonna to make a video to show you guys how to fix a hard brick Android phone. Now about four days ago I decided to go ahead and root my phone and to install some custom ROMs on it. And by me doing this, I ended up hard bricking my device. Now a lot of you guys probably never heard of a hard brick device or don't even know what hard brick is. Hard brick is when you screw your device up to the point to where it doesn't power on. Um, nothing comes up on the screen even when you charge the device, the battery symbol doesn't come up, it just doesn't do anything. And I'm going to go ahead and hit the power button which is right there to show you guys that this is not powering up or doing anything. And I'm pressing on it as hard as I can and nothing is happening on the screen. Now my friend has a Galaxy S3 as well. So what I did was I went over his house and took the battery out of here and charged it on his phone. When it fully charged, I brought it back home and installed it in my phone to see if maybe the battery was dead or the charger or something was screwed up and it wasn't that. The phone is actually hard brick. So what I did was um, I bought a device on eBay called a Jig and I just bought it today. I have not tried it out on this device guys. But I'm going to show you that this does have a battery in it. And I'm not lying when I actually press the power button to show you guys that this, well, if I can get the back off, that the back of this is, well, it does have a battery in it, which as you can see here. So get the back part back on here so again I'm gonna go ahead and press the power again so I'm pushing very very hard and there is nothing on the screen there's no vibration there's nothing so I purchased this jig off eBay and the person that I bought this of, off of said that this will fix a hard brick phone. So all I have to do is just plug this in and you should get the Android download screen. So we're going to check this out together guys. I hope this work. Fingers crossed. So here we go, guys. Got it in the wrong way, I believe. Nope, that was the right way. There it is, guys. It actually worked. It worked guys. Check that out. A hard bricked Samsung Galaxy S3 back into download mode. Unbelievable. I thought that I was screwed. I thought I just ended up wasting $206 on this phone guys and I am back to life. Now Something else that this jig does that's really, really cool is that it turns the counter back to zero. Let me try to focus in on that. And it's not going to let me focus on it, guys. Sorry about that. But uh, I guess the... I 
against the print on it is too small. But anyway, um, these jigs, I guess once you put your device in download mode one too many times, it's going to put a triangle on the screen saying that you can't put it in download mode anymore. One of the sweet things about this jig is that it will reset the counter on this to where you can um, put this in download mode as many times as you want, which is really cool. If your device is hard bricked and you are having a lot of problems and your phone will not power back on no matter what you do, definitely look into one of these jigs. It will work for you like it worked for me. Um, and they only cost a few dollars. I think I paid like $3.75 for this one. Um, I actually bought two just in case one didn't show up or got lost in the mail. I have another one for backup. So this is the man, 7431, getting ready to sign out. Um, I'm going to be making another video right behind this one, guys, to show you guys how to put the original ROM back on this because when my device bricked, it ended up wiping out my whole device, which I can't even get the original stock ROM back on it anymore. The only way I can get that ROM back is if I install it from the internet. So if you guys wanna see me do this, just stay tuned for part two of this video, and I'll be right back with you guys soon when I do part two.